Greece, the cradle of civilization and the birthplace of democracy, a land of picturesque vistas and a land rich in family tradition. The Greek Independence Day Parade commemorates the 191st anniversary of Greek independence from Ottoman rule, tyranny and oppression. It is a celebration of Hellenic identity, an opportunity for those of Greek heritage to express and promote their culture and achievements to the world. The parade is hosted by the Federation of Hellenic Societies of Greater New York, a group proud to promote the preservation of their traditions from generation to generation. So join us today on Fifth Avenue as My9 presents the 81st Annual Greek Independence Day Parade, a celebration of this glorious land and her people. This is the My9 81st Annual Greek Independence Day Parade. And a very big Kalimera, Yasas Kronia Pola. What a beautiful day. This is the 2012 annual Greek Independence Day Parade coming to you live from Fifth Avenue. It's a pretty good day, and I'm Ernie Anastas along with my good friend, Nicole. I'm Nicole Fedelides. Here we are to celebrate the 191st anniversary of Greek Independence. The parade is already getting underway, yes. and I see all the people piling in, Ernie. There's a lot of people out here, and the rain held off. That's, so that's far, important. So you know, good. we were a little concerned about the rain. We thought it was going to be a problem, but I, I think we're going to be in great shape. Nick Gregory, of course, is on the job with us, so he'll be telling that's us right. more about that. But, Nicole, this is going to be a terrific day as usual. We've got more than 40 floats out there, churches from all over the tri-state area. Ernie and I were sitting here just before the program <laughs> began, and we both said how excited we are to yes. be here. And our feelings echo all of the folks out there who've been waiting for today yeah, to we're celebrate expecting... our heritage, our family, our friends. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We should have perhaps 100,000 to 150,000 people, and also those of you at home watching on My9. We really have a lot to talk about today. Uh, our Grand Marshal, of course, is the Senator from New Jersey, uh, Robert Menendez. That's he is right. uh, going to be joining us today. Archbishop Demetrius, of course, our Honorary Parade Chairman, and a number of dignitaries from both Greece, Cyprus, and government right. leaders from New York and also the and state. And, of course, everybody from the churches yeah. to the Goya to the Philoptokos, and everybody will be here, so we're glad that you're here watching if you can't be with here with us today we're glad you're there with and us. joining us on the parade route will be Jill Nicolini and also Nick Gregory who is back from Florida he's got a great sunshine yeah. face on him he looks terrific today and he's got a beautiful Greek blue tie on Yasu Nico and how are you Yasu Ernie Nicole doing great of course wearing the blue and white colors of Greece today and uh, I wish I could have brought the weather from Florida with me up here but uh, this wasn't meant to be and wouldn't you know of course we've been in the 70s a lot of this week in New York today it's it's cloudy, it's cool. I just looked at the radar. There's a couple of showers just east of Manhattan here. I think we're going to be in great shape, and the spirit of the Greek people as they honor their heritage today will keep us nice and warm here on Fifth Avenue. Of course, it's a wonderful parade every year. Lots of memories for me growing up as a Greek American in this area. I first actually marched in this parade uh, when I was five years old, when my father was the priest at the Greek Orthodox Church, uh, Holy Cross Church in Bay Ridge, Brooklyn. So it's always a great memory for me to be here, and, and we're going to see uh, lots of youth that are going to start their memories in this great uh, parade as well. Again, we have Jill Nicolini joining us today, and Yasu and Jill are going to change your last name. We're going to call you Nicolinopoulos today. How's that? I'm loving it because, yes, today I am Greek, and I'm honored to be a part of this, and we're live here on Fifth Avenue, and again, over 40 floats, 40 bands expected here again to line Fifth Avenue at 68th Street. Again, we're right near the start of the parade, and of course, we're going to see over 100,000 spectators, and I will bring you that live throughout the rest of the day here. Maybe Make sure you keep it tuned here to My9 because we'll be interviewing some of these spectators and talk a little bit about Greek culture, Greek food, one of my favorites, of course, and Greek dance. So make sure you stay tuned. Let's head over now to Ernie and Nicole. All right. Thank you very much, Jill. Yasu, as we say, right? As uh, right. we were listening to Jill and Nick, of course, we're seeing right there New York City Police Department. We saw the Mounted Color Guard and the New York City Police a Ceremonial Band as well. That's right. And we saw some of the chairmen as well, Mr. John Katsimatidis. Yes. We saw Philip Christopher. Everybody's here. They're piling in and we have a lot to look forward to and the bands I can already hear some of the bands well you know we have uh, music we have entertainment and as you mentioned a number of the floats from the New York tri-state area uh, but we know that Greece is the cradle of Western civilization there is a great pride in the Greek people and especially now Nicole as we know some of the difficulties uh, the news reports that we have been hearing for many months now out of Greece but we are all Greeks as they say and we are very supportive of, uh, of a proud nation and the people who need us right now and you know you make a great point yeah. Because we've done this for a few years yes. now, but this year's parade has a new theme.
team, solidarity with Greece. And last night at the Plaza Hotel, there were a lot of folks to get ready for the parade today. Yes. And they were saying how we're here today to not only show our friends and family here in America, but to go right back to Greece and show that we are there supporting well, them as we well during be, a tough time. Yes, we'll be talking about that and demonstrating it as well today in a number of interviews coming up. We're going to take a short break. We're watching the parade here live on Fifth Avenue. This is our 81st annual celebration of Greek Independence Parades. It's fabulous. Okay, we're going to take a break. Nicole and I will be right back. Yasu! Life here moves fast. Shouldn't your news keep up with you? Now it does. With 9 at 10. Give us nine minutes and we'll give you the important news and weather without delay. Or stay longer for more in-depth stories. The 10 o'clock news with Brenda Blackman and Harry Martin. Only on My 9. Take one delivery guy, his loving wife, his father-in-law, and you get... Can you hear me? The King of Queens. Weeknights at 6 and 7.30. With public Wi-Fi, your laptop or iPad is exposed to hackers and data thieves, and your connection speed slows down every time another person logs on. With the NetZero 4G mobile broadband device, you can become your own personal hotspot and enjoy fast, secure internet access wherever you go. NetZero 4G does not require a contract or commitment, and data plans start at just $9.95 a month. We'll even let you try the service for up to one year for free. Call 1-800-NET-ZERO or go to netzero.com. Hi, I'm Michael Mazzini, president of American Dental Care. For as low as $12 per month, you could have a dental, optical, or medical prescription plan. Dental office visits $3. Dentist and insurance agents, call us today to join our successful team. We're now offering this plan to individuals and companies. People enrolling now annually will receive 5% off and an additional two months free. If you enroll today, you can go to the dentist today. Call 1-800-452-4468 for a free brochure. We are celebrating Greek Independence Day today, of course, and we're bringing you live coverage. Nicole Nicolidis, Petalidis. You know what? I had a, a couple of names because we have Jill Nicolini with us today, right. so there are a couple in my mind. But anyway, let's just talk about some of the people that are here today. We can see the wonderful faces of our dignitaries who are marching from the Greek Orthodox Church. We just saw Archbishop Demetrius. His Eminence Archbishop Demetrius, who is so kind, so wonderful, and obviously represents both North and South America, but he is present every time I go to an event, Archbishop Demetrius is there. I don't think the man ever sleeps. No, He's there working for to pr continue to promote orthodoxy and Hellenism. You're right, and we know uh, that the church is absolutely at the center of, of our faith uh, in terms of our family, uh, in terms of what we are doing today to celebrate this. Uh, the Archbishop right there smiling at us. We're going to be talking to him in a short while, but we know the communities are all founded on, on, the, on the church and the activities surrounding the church, the choir, the Goya, Joy, right. the basketball teams, the, the festivals, everything that is really surrounded by, by, the, by the faith that and we that's what's always so fun about it every time you have a Greek event there's dancing there's music there's food everything to keep us together we have dancing at the weddings at yes, uh, we do. you know when it's a Saints Day when it's your name day everybody has a party I mean it just doesn't quit the Greeks don't quit really uh, keeping their family together which is one of the beautiful qualities not only of Greeks but of so many different groups but being a, a family that's number one right and that's what everybody continues to promote we just saw our senator Mike Gennett uh, you know, another figure in New York City politics. Uh, Carolyn Maloney, of course, uh, always present at all of our functions here. And, uh, and we've also, you know, been talking about the number of people that will be joining us. We have some dignitaries that are going to be part of this parade. But it's all about the people as well, the people who really make up the, the fabric of, of the Greek parade in terms of their spirit, their attitude, and their pride in being a Greek American and also paying homage to our country in Greece. So there you're seeing right now, that's Congresswoman Carolyn Maloney. We we also have uh, U.S. Representative Gus Bilarakis with us. Uh, Mike Gennaris went by, Senator Mike Gennaris here in New York. So there's certainly a lot of dignitaries here. We have the Boy Scouts today, so that's always a lot of fun. Uh, Pansiprium, we talked about the choir and all the Hellenic yes. societies, which we'll be able to focus yep. on. You'll see the floats coming by. And Nicole, also joining us right now is the Grand Marshal for the parade, uh, Senator Robert Menendez of New Jersey. It's so good to have you with us, sir. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Great yasu, to be here. Yasu, Yasu. <laughs> 
Yasu, you are, you are Greek today. Yes, well, we're thrilled. It's a, it's a distinguished privilege to be named the Grand Marshal, and uh, we have a great love uh, for the people of Greece, uh, the birthplace of democracy, a strong ally of the United States through all of our conflicts, and certainly the enormous contributions that Greek Americans who came to this country with just a passport and a dream have done Senator tremendous Menendez, things. Senator Menendez, last night I heard you speaking at the Plaza Hotel where you were so emphatic and so supportive of both Greece and Cyprus. You were saying that uh, your cause of Cyprus, but in Greece you're talking about Macedonia as well. You really are behind the Greek people. You don't quit, huh? How well, come? Uh, well, well, I think we have a, a lot in common with the Greek people. I mean, uh, our spirit of democracy began in ancient Athens. Uh, the enormous contributions of a community that came to this country, as I said, with a passport and a dream and have made uh, in every walk of life, including yes. great anchor exactly. people. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that's nice, right? The passport and the dream, and that's really what uh, so many of our families were immigrants. That's right. Okay. And Senator with. Menendez, we made mention, of course, the uh, the difficulties uh, that the Greek people are facing right now in Greece, and uh, you certainly are following those developments. Things seem to be improving. There's a lot of hope there, and part of the theme of this parade is the support and solidarity for the Greek people. Well, absolutely. And look, uh, you know, as a member of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, I think that there are brighter uh, days ahead for the Greek people. Uh, but you know, as we march behind. The, the Greek flag, the five blue stripes, the four white stripes that yes. were the march of uh, syllables of freedom and death, of, of independence. Yes. This right. is a march for freedom and it's a march of economic Very freedom. Very good. Eleftheria y thanatos. That is what he's talking about. Very impressive, Senator Menendez. Right on the mark. I, I know that you enjoy a lot of things uh, in New Jersey as well because there are so many communities there that have Greek festivals that I know you try to attend and various functions. Do you have a Greek food, favorite food? Uh, I, I have several. That's we have some in front of you. That's that why she was saying that's that, very Senator. tempting. It would take away all my jogging. You've got uh, some pulurakia uh, and a lot of other oh, things that, for you. That is, that is great. Well, Senator Menendez, congratulations to you as the Grand Marshal today. Thank you. It's a great honor, and it's great to be here with our friends uh, and families from the Hellenic Republic and from Cyprus as well. Thank you. Thank you, Senator. All right. all right, we're taking a break right now. We have more coverage of the Greek Independence Day Parade right after these messages. Keep it right here. Yeah. This portion of the Greek Independence Day Parade is brought to you by the John and Margot Katsimatidis Family Foundation. Join us on May 12th for the 21st Anniversary Hellenic Times Scholarship Fund Gala. This year honoring business leader and philanthropist Dennis Meal and Fox News Chief Congressional Correspondent Mike Emanuel. Guest artists will include Greek singing sensation Yanis Plutokos and Grammy-nominated singer Maxine Nightingale. For tickets, call 212-986-6881 or visit www.htsf.org. Tell us about the Accord. Car and drivers, 10 best. How many times? A record 26 times. Interesting. What about safety? Overall five-star safety rating. Interesting. It's perfect. So, Brian, what kind of deal are we looking at here? We have some really good offers going on right now. Really? Really. Okay, we'll take it. Get a great deal on an Accord during the really big sales event. Real deals, big inventory. Now, at your Honda dealer. Is this boy genius? Kid knows all the tricks. You've never met evil like this. Law and order. SVU. Your discretion advised. Monday at 8 on My 9. Whether you're an alien-chasing ballroom dancer or a NASCAR-loving fashionista, we get it. There are lots of shows you really love. That's why Time Warner Cable gives you more ways to enjoy them even better. Call 877-609-7829 for digital TV starting as low as $29.99 a month. Then, catch your favorite shows whenever you want. You'll never miss a minute, even if you forget to set your DVR. Come in late, start it over. Miss the whole thing? Not anymore. Because you can watch primetime anytime. Plus, Time Warner Cable gives you 10 times more on-demand choices than satellites. Call 877-609-7829 for digital TV starting as low as $29.99 a month. Whatever you're passionate about, we invent better ways for you to share it, get lost in it, and love it even more. Time Warner Cable. Enjoy better. The Wendy Williams Show arrives weekdays at 3 on My 9.
Diamonds. Certified one carats are just $18.90. Up to two carat non-certified, just $9.90 per carat. Thousands of GIA diamonds guaranteed the lowest price. The latest designer styles set while you watch. By Factory Direct, the jewelry factory in Hackensack. Welcome back to the 191st anniversary of Greek independence. And here we are at the parade on beautiful Fifth Avenue. And we feel like the sun is yes, shining. Yes, we do. Because all the people are pouring in, right, Ernie and Astos? Yes, and we're listening to the Alpha Orchestra. This is the uh, premier Greek-American ensemble performing here today. Uh, they have performed uh, so many times here at this parade, also at the Hellenic Times Scholarship Fund. Uh, they are so well-known in the area, and uh, we're so proud that they're here. Also, we can see the pride of Greece right here, Nicole, the F-Zones. The F-Zones, they, they are unbelievable. When you take a look at them, they are looking good. They are well-trained. They date back to the early uh, 1821, yes. right, where the yep. whole Greek independence be began. They are so proud. Uh, they're, they're purely ceremonial right now. They, they, they guard the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. Uh, we have been to Greece. We have seen them. The Hellenic Parliament, of course, and the Presidential Mansion. And all are volunteers drawn from the Hellenic Army's infantry, artillery, and the uh, Armored Corps. This is quite a history. And these guys are just so proud to be here today especially since we know that we're talking about the people of Greece and that we are with them and thinking of them and supporting them today. That's right. And when you're looking at them, as the, Greek, as the national anthem is playing in the background, you can see their costumes. The fustanella right there is, is being featured. And a short time ago, we saw the shoes with the pom-poms, the tsaruchia. Let's listen in. National Anthem here at the uh, 2012 Greek Independence Day Parade as we look upon a proud soldier at Evzone. Uh, you were talking about this, Nicole, about the formation of this group after the revolution of 1821. And by the way, the uniform of the Evzone was officially established as the uniform of all chieftains and fighters of the revolution. As a child, as a young boy, I remember growing up and wearing the Evzone uh, to many of the uh, March 25th Independence Day ceremonies. I was so happy. Here is the Greek national anthem right now. when we feel our pride and we are so proud of our Greek roots, right? It's nice to be Greek-American. We're here in America. We heard the national anthem, and yet we still always resort back to our Greek roots and where our grandparents uh, all heralded from. The Greeks are, are very proud, as we know. We can see some of the information up on your screen, which we have talked about. Greeks are very proud of their heritage uh, with their many contributions to Western society. Uh, democracy, of course, had the uh, first known democracy, promoting equal opportunity, power to the people, the principles of uh, human rights, freedom, and so much that has affected many of our constitutional rights today. And we can go on and on. We could talk about philosophy. We could talk about medicine and sports. When you, when you think about uh, Greeks being involved in sports, uh, you, you think of the Olympics, of course. Greece was the first civilization to incorporate sports and make it a proud tradition. And uh, we know that many times we think about all of the contributions that the Greeks have made with great pride. Someone who is sitting next to you, Nicole, is also um, 
so proud of what they have accomplished and, and actually what we are accomplishing today. And he's one of the, the leaders. And maybe you want to talk to there our good friend, is. John. Yeah, John Casamadidis is here with us. Today is the parade. We've been waiting for it. So far, so good, huh, John? Well, there's no rain, which is good news. And uh, <laughs> uh, it's a beautiful day. It's a little bit cooler than we expected since the last few days were in the 70s. But it's a great day. It's a great Independence Day. And uh, uh, we're all going to have a lot of fun and we're going to celebrate our independence. Well, John, we're very proud of you for many reasons. And if we want to talk specifically about this parade, uh, you were really uh, the, the instrumental leader, the guy who said, let's get this on television. Uh, and, and that started six years ago. Well, I was glad uh, uh, you supported it and uh, Nicole and, uh, uh, you know, Channel 5 and Channel 9 and... Uh, Lulioni, it was uh, it, it was great for and many all of, of the uh, exactly and many of the great supporters too who are the sponsors of this parade as well, John. Absolutely, we uh, have uh, Nick Boris uh, supporting it and uh, uh, Faith uh, uh, through some of the supporters and um, uh, Atlantic Bank. Right. I mean, it takes a lot of money to put on a parade like this, and uh, some of our contributors came through. So some of our foundations that support us came through, and yes. we put it all together. And everybody. Who's watching thanks you and thanks everybody who supported and everybody who came out here today to promote Greek independence to promote our family and there he is mayor Michael Bloomberg yeah. great supporter right, of the Greek communities so. he is going to be coming up here in a short while you keep that seat warm for him yeah. John you also have a special event every year and that's something that you are taking great pride in the Hellenic Times scholarship fund dance uh, and you make such great contributions to help so many students across America. We raised millions of dollars uh, for scholarships for young uh, Greek kids and uh, uh, through education is the only way to make progress and we firmly believe in that. Another good program this year. And you've been there for all 21 years. Thank you, Ernie. And you give Thank out you. over $100,000 every year in scholarships. Uh, we might Almost. be giving out even more. Oh! Look at that. It's in May, and people can still always get on the website, HTSF.org, and get in there and see, because you have some lineup this year as well. As far as the singers, you have business, you have law, you have one of our One of our colleagues, too, Nicole, uh, Mike Emanuel from Fox News, will be there on it this year, White House correspondent. Yeah, it's going to be a great event, and uh, people describe it as uh, New Year's Eve in May. Tell us why <laughs> you do this, John. You're a very successful business owner of, of Apple Group, and you're involved in oil and real estate and everything but why are you here and why do you support the Greek parade the way you do why do you continue to back Hellenism the way you do well because you know I I believe that we have to support our people look I'm an American but my father my mother uh, Greek roots we have to support our uh, roots and uh, I feel that my father's spirit uh, is looking over us today and what we're doing. It's like a few years ago when we honored Tony Orlando. Yes. He had tears in his eyes because his father is Greek. And he said to me at the end, he was crying. And he said to me at the end, I know my father was watching me go march up Fifth Avenue with the Greeks. So, oh, it was so very beautiful. emotional for him, and, and we've heard so many stories like that over the years, John. But we also know, and you're also a good supporter of the city of New York, that this is indeed the great melting pot. This is where so many groups come together, so many uh, ethnic groups and, and, and various cultures just blend in to make this city the great city that it it's, is. It's the greatest city in the world, and we're all proud to live here, and I wouldn't live anywhere else. And I want to not leave out, let's talk about Margo and Andrea and John Jr. and Andrea's husband, Chris, and you're bringing Hellenism to them, and, and Margo's a Greek cook, and you guys have lots of Greek food yeah, all the my, time, my right? Daughter, yes, and uh, uh, we even, you know, my, my uh, daughter married President Nixon's grandson. Yes. And you're going to see today his mother, Trisha Nixon, is going to be on our float. Oh, so exciting. So wave at Trisha. And, uh, I will, and I saw that Andrea was featured in the New York Post one time, how she makes spanakopita. Yes. Oh, right? she made she some last great... night. <laughs> Come over. Come over afterwards. She made some. <laughs> I don't, John, you know, before we let you go, I, I know that you've talked to us about this from time to time, and you have a dream about doing something great for New York, and that is to perhaps revive the World's Fair, which was such a great success. That was one of our dreams. Uh, the last World's Fair was 1964. Yeah. 
And uh, we think uh, if New York needs an economy uh, boost, uh, it's going to increase tourism from 50 million, maybe to 60 million. And uh, are you still behind that? Are you, are you ready to, to do that? Publicly tell us that you're ready to, to get that campaign going again. Well, if, if, <laughs> with the help of the mayor and uh, a few others, we can get it done. Maybe we'll ask the mayor when we bring him up here in a short time. That, okay. That'd be great. Thank Great. you. Thank you, John Katsimadidis. Behind the parade, behind Hellenism, he does it all. You're the man, John. Thank you very much, John. Uh, sea of blue and white, and of course, the American flag, Greek American Folklore Society, passing by us right now, dressed in their traditional garb, looking well, looking proud, and, and look, it's not raining, John. This is great. Everybody's able to walk around without getting wet. Uh, you know, Nicole, we talk about uh, tourism, and we were talking about the Greek people today and, and what they're going through, but tourism is so important to Greece, and it's, it's such a beautiful country, if we have to say it ourselves. And look, people still are going going there even during a time of crisis and yes. turmoil people are still going there and enjoying the beautiful beaches uh, of Santorini and Sifros and, and Serifos. Uh, I mean I've been to so many of them and uh, my husband Nick and I took a, a yacht around the islands we did nine islands in seven days beautiful. and what a trip that was one to remember well it's nice to do that because you know we, we all try to do it because it, it really gives us a chance to stay in touch uh, with the customs uh, and to learn more about them in a deeper sense and also to pass that along, pass that heritage along to our children. The Greek flag and also the celebrations that are going on today. This is one of the uh, the times that people have an opportunity to come out here and also think about some of the role models, Nicole, and, and we'll be talking about some of them today. Uh, children all need role models and, and all of the ethnic groups are looking for those people who have been successful in, in many walks of life. And we, there are so many of them. I mean, when you talk about political figures, uh, I know that the, the former governor, Michael Dukakis, a former presidential candidate, was certainly one of them. Senator Paul Sarbanes, long Right. distinguished himself in Washington in sports you know you've got Pete Sampras uh, you've got Mike Olympia Dukakis. Dukakis yes you Mike and Dukakis. I have the Dukakis family yeah, together absolutely and Olympia Dukakis as well uh, great and we can't forget course. some of the great uh, Betty White a lot of people don't realize that Betty White also is I love Greek Betty heritage. White how about some of the other ones you, uh, you mentioned Constantine Maroulis yes right and he's, he's here he's here from Rock of Ages yep. everybody knew him from American Idol he's here he's gonna be on on the float oh there's Miss Greek Independence Olga Motska She's Miss Greek Independent. She was voted uh, this month in Astoria during a competition there where they had 10 competitors yes. there. Yes, and she is uh, she is very proud to be there today. And there she is smiling. And she's going to go by us right there. Hey, hey, smile. Hi. Hi, Olga. Well, some of the criteria, you and I have talked about this, 17 to 25 years old, and uh, you have to be bilingual, mm -hmm. and one of your parents have to be Greek. Well, she qualifies, and she is serving us proudly today uh, as we see some of the, um, the smiley children. Look at these are the little ones. You know, we talk about our, our, our children and passing along the heritage. You see them waving their flag with great pride. This is See, the, the I wave at them, the and they Trinity. can wave back at me. They are yes. so cute. Hello, everybody. This is, this is the group from the Cathedral of the Holy Trinity in New York on 74th Street, East 74th Street. We certainly have been to it many times. It's a beautiful cathedral. It is gorgeous. I love, I love being in there. That's actually where John Katzmadidi's daughter got married. And, yes. And it, that's where my son had his 40-day ceremony. And the home of Archbishop Demetrius as well. Okay, we're going to be taking a short break right now. We're going to be coming back, Nicole, with our team to give you all of the events that are happening here on this beautiful Greek and Independence Day for on this Sunday. Thank you. Hi, I'm Mike Emanuel, Chief Congressional Correspondent for Fox News. I hope you're enjoying the Greek Independence Day Parade, which is a fantastic celebration of our Hellenic heritage. As I look back on my youth growing up at Holy Trinity Greek Orthodox Church in Westfield, New Jersey, one of my fondest memories is my father repeatedly telling his three sons to study hard Greek philosophy, poetry, and Greek history. Dad taught us to be proud and to embrace our rich heritage. My guess is he would have been extremely pleased that I was asked to offer this greeting for such a wonderful commemoration in New York. Yasas Kroniopola. Oh, it is on! Big comedy. Sunday. Big night. Oh! oh. It's gonna be awesome. This is huge. It's a big deal. Big comedy. Sunday. It'll be fun. How about Sunday? It's big, 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 big comedy Sundays. The King of Queens, How I Met Your Mother, and The Big Bang Theory. Sunday, starting at 6 on My 9. We had cable for 14 years. We became disheartened with it. 
Watching cable was a very frustrating television experience. We are a family that's on a budget. The cable bill was pretty high. Stop paying for second best. Get Verizon Fios, TV, internet, and phone for just $99.99 a month for a year with no annual contract required. First time we saw TV on Fios was amazing. The picture with Fios is crisper, clearer, distinctly better. Call now and get a multi-room DVR free for life as long as you keep a triple play bundle at your current address. Now with Verizon Fios, the internet goes zoom. I'm able to take care of things much faster now. Millions have switched to Fios. Now you can too for just $99.99 a month for a year. With Fios, we have a happy household. We have spread the word. Switch now and get a multi-room DVR free for life. You'll save over $235 each year. Call 1-888-818-FIOS. That's 1-888-818-3467. FIOS, a network ahead. It's not Ashton Kutcher. It's Kevin Malone. Ta-da! Characters that are just your type on The Office. Weeknights at 1035 on My9. This portion of the Greek Independence Day Parade is brought to you by Faith, an endowment for orthodoxy and Hellenism. And here we are. We're live. We're back. Melo, Megalo Glendisimera. They are Glendis having so Hellas. much fun. I just saw all of them dressed on that float rope there, the Seria Hellas, and they are there, and they are dancing, and they have the kids, and we have the Alpha Band performing for you today, Alpha Orchestra, celebrating and keeping this to be a great, fun time. All right, we, uh, we just heard from uh, John Katz and Matidis and talking about the great pride in this parade that's been going on now. This is our sixth year, sixth uh, broadcast and we're very happy to be part of that. And also, the uh, Federation of Hellenic Societies of Greater New York is a big part of this, of course. They are the foundation for this. Uh, Elias Chekaridis is, uh, is a captain and someone who really knows a lot that's going on. And our own Nick Gregory is there with Elias right now. Nick. Hi, Ernie and Nicole again. And Elias is with me. And uh, pleasure to see you. Uh, uh, Elias is born, uh, was born in Greece, and you've yes. been president of the Federation for uh, the last two years. Two years. And uh, what do you think of the parade so far? We're off to a good start. Yeah, I'm so excited. That what they held up and, and this is really great you see all the little kids with the flags and it's amazing it brings back memories i was saying earlier about my life when i was young here in the parade as well now the federation of course hosts the parade but it's involved in other activities in the greek community oh, yeah. what, what what other activities all this month we had uh, uh other events like uh, we want to have march uh, the month of march as a hellenic cultural month and we had lectures, we had uh, dances, we had uh, exhibits, and, and everybody gets involved. Some of our uh, clubs had events at the Federation, which is, you know, everybody together, and, and it's amazing. Well, that's, that's the one nice thing about it is the, the Greek culture brings everybody together. And, you know, today we honor the independence, but there's uh, the, the, the honoring of Greek independence takes us into so many different ways. Yeah, well, it's not only the Greek independence, it's also a religious holiday, and you know very well. And uh, it so happens that the last time that I was a parade on the 25th of March, it was in 1984. And the next time is going to be Sunday, the 25th, is going to be 2018. So this is a special day to actually have Independence Day on the 25th, on the Sunday, that we can bring it to you live today. Well, that's great. Well, Elias, thank you so much. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank and, you. Uh, enjoy the rest of the parade. Thank you very much. Okay. Yeah. Ernie and Nicole? Thank you. Hey, Nick, are we starting to see a little bit of bright sun possibly breaking you know, somewhere? You the, the, the cloud bases are, I've been watching this because, yeah. I, you know, my neck is on the line here. But the cloud <laughs> bases seem to be rising, and it does seem a little brightening. I don't think we're going to be seeing a lot of sun as the day goes along, but I am confident that we're, we're done with the rain, so at least it'll be dry. Very nice. Thank you, Nick. Okay. Talk about patriotism. I saw some of the folks walking by there from the St. Nicholas Church in yes. Flushing, and they had umbrellas, I guess, just in case. They were blue and white. <laughs> See that? They were prepared, weren't they? they? Were just prepared. in case. If they had an umbrella, it better be blue. Oh, and white. yeah. We're showing you much of the parade going on here. The Cyprus Federation of America float ju just passed us by. We also saw the uh, Panagia Pusiotisa uh, celebrating 100 years with great pride. And also the Cyprus Federation of America, as we just mentioned. And that's where my family's from. My mother yes. was born in Kyrenia. My father was born in Galavasos. And I've always had a great time every time I go back to visit the beautiful island of Cyprus. Like so many of the islands, they are gorgeous. If you can get to any 
any one of them get on the plane and Beautiful. Go visit. You know, Nicole, we were talking about the uh, the children. We were watching them waving their flags. We also know that uh, within our culture, there is such great respect for our elderly. Uh, big emphasis on Yaya and Papu and the uh, those people who have really given us the stories and the um, the pride that we have of coming to this country and building uh, a better life for their children, for their families, and the love of family. Uh, it's a very attractive subject for us when we talk about our, our, our family. That's where, and by the way, my aunts just went by. I mean, if you see oh, me waving, nice. it's because, and this is what we talk about family, and what it comes from Yaya and Bapu, and they make sure the family stays together, and that's where it all starts, right? They educate their children, they teach them about family, they teach, and then they teach them, they send them out to school, they learn, they grow, and they go on with great careers. So many Greeks have contributed so much to our country, and yet they never forget. They always go back home and make sure to have some bastitio. Or I think so. Right? Well, you know, we, we certainly can learn a lot too from our seniors, their wisdom, uh, and the stories that they share with us that give us a deeper sense of our pride. All right, Jill Nicolini is on the parade route, and let's find out what's going on down there. Hey, Jill. It's going great down here, and I met Stephanos, who's a spectator, who's of course a Greek. A Greek descent. Yes. And uh, so tell us, you're out here today. Why are you here watching this? Well, when I was a young individual, I used to march a break for a lot of years. From school, from Boy Scouts, from Goya. Now I'm a great spectator. Uh, the vet I've been doing for over 30 years. Hope to do it more, continue more. And here I'm now watching my nephews, my godson, all my friends, kids marching. And who are they marching with? Different school, different churches. Uh, some churches in Long Island, some churches in Queens. So throughout the great New York area. And is there any one particular float uh, that you're looking forward to seeing more than any or anyone here today? Archangel Michael from Roslyn, Port Washington, because my nephews are on that float. Oh, fantastic. Well, thank you for chatting with us. Also, I want to introduce us to Lean over here, please. Now tell me, as a little girl, you used to march in this parade, correct? I did. I did. I marched with St. Constantine and Helen of Brooklyn. Oh, wonderful. And what brings you out here this year? I don't miss the Greek parade. I, um, you know, being Greek is about family and community and pride, and it's about perseverance, too, and I think this year that theme is really dominant, and I'm really, really happy to be here this year. All right, I'm an honorary Greek today, Stelene. Now, Everyone. I know about the Greek food and culture a little bit, yes. uh, all right? <laughs> Those are some of the best parts of it all. Great, well, thank you for coming out and talking thank to you. today. And again, we'll be live here throughout the parade route, so make sure you stay tuned. Ernie Nicole? Thank you very much, Jill. Very nice. And, uh, you know, it's good to see uh, the people who are out there and uh, hear their feelings about this day. We're here talking about it, and uh, and it's nice to get a, a sense of what they're experiencing and, and being part of this uh, in their own way, but also with their families and their friends. Oh, here's a look. See, another one celebrating 100 years. So we had a few of them earlier. We saw Panagia y Prisotisa. That was one that was celebrating 100 years. We just saw a moment ago from Hios. That was another one. Uh, oh, actually, the Panhiaki. Uh, they are celebrating 100 years. And the last one that we haven't seen yet is the Mitellian Society of America, right? From the yes. island of Mitellini. Yeah, Mitellini and Hios is one of my favorite islands. We've been to it many Hios. times. And there are a lot of people from the New York area uh, that still have a place there. And they have a home there. And they celebrate. And they're part of the celebration. You know, the Everything's importance the of black and white with all the ge geometry oh, on the yeah. buildings. It's beautiful. Yeah, and they also have Mastika. Mastika from Kios. You know, they have <laughs> the, the gum. gum. Yeah, yeah, they have the gum. And they, have, they have a fragrance. They have a perfume. They have a lot of different products. Candles and so forth. It's a, it's a big product for them in Greece. So many different islands that we could talk about. And it's so beautiful to visit. The importance of our cultural heritage. That's exactly what we're talking about today. And the great respect that we all have. The immigrants uh, who have given us the story. You were mentioning the Kios Society of American Canada. And there they are passing us by right now. You well, know, they take a lot of time to prepare these things too, getting the people organized and setting up their floats. They sure do, and the kids come out and, and we see all the kids from Goya and Joy, and this is where they do their sports, and they, they have Greek school, Sunday school, and this is how they keep the kids together, obviously with other Greek children. And Nicole, you and I were a part of that growing up. I mean, you know exactly what it is, and it was important to go to Greek school. I remember doing that after uh, my regular classes. We would go at least three days a week to Greek school, and, and our Sunday school school as well and that gave us a good base gave us a good foundation we were able to learn more about our, our culture and to be able to share that with our friends and understand where we came from and where we're going and obviously also when, we, when you think about the holidays how about Easter right you go 
with Easter. I used to go with my mother Fanny. We used to go yes. with the ants and, and, and go and light our candles and sing Christos Anesti. Well, it's coming up now. You know that. Ready, and, and right? Speaking Galea of that, uh, joining right. us right now is the honorary chairman of this fabulous parade, the distinguished leader of the Greek Orthodox Church of America. Uh, Archbishop Demetrius is joining us today, and uh, he is the honorary chairman, but he is our spiritual leader, and, and we love you, and it's so good to see you again, Your Eminence. Good to see you, too. Yes. How do you feel today? Excited?